Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Giante here, back with another video. And as I'm sure you read by the title and thumbnail, this is how to become him. And this is getting deleted in 24 hours. The first thing to become him, you have to change your mindset. The way you think, the way you see the world, and the way you think other people see you. Now, if you're not confident, if you're super introverted, if you're super shy, you must watch this video. The first thing I know everybody goes to is their appearance. You don't feel attractive. So how can you believe that you're attractive if you don't even feel it? So here are some things you can change within your appearance to feel more confident. The first thing is your hygiene and routine. Routine, routine, routine. For example, I brush my teeth three times a day for 10 minutes at a time to keep my teeth white. No veneers, no whitening strips, just brushing my teeth. Second is I love keeping my hands clean because women love hands. They look at our hands, they look at the veins on our hands because obviously they want our hands on their body. So making sure your hands are both clean and cut, manicures are important. I don't care what you say and I'm not saying you gotta get polished, you can get a clear coat, that'll be enough. Then getting to your face. Me personally, when I was younger, I went to a dermatologist, they gave me some stuff to use on my face and it helped clear it up a lot. And then from there, just wash my face, water, and moisturizer. And whenever you think you smell bad, I don't care when, just shower. Hop in the shower, bro. I shower two, three, four, five times a day. And then smelling good. Because even if you don't look the greatest, let's say you're a seven and you smell good, that's a nine to girls. Like girls love men who smell good. And you don't gotta overdo it with the Axe body spray. We not throwing on that no more. But there's a lot of colognes and lotions and body washes that work amazingly. Like if she not asking to take your hoodies, they want to take our hoodies because they smell like us. That means she think you smell good. If she not doing that, you might want to change the way you smell, bro. Because a girl won't tell you that you stink. She'll just keep her distance. Or whenever you talk and you got bad breath, she's going to be turning her head. Like you don't want that. Second is substance. Being able to feel up a conversation. Making her look at you and be like, damn, he got some substance. Like, I want to talk to him more. Like, let's get off text messages. Let's get on FaceTime. Let's get from FaceTime. Let's link in person. And it all can happen so fast. This doesn't have to be a long process. It's just about the time that you're willing to put into it. You play 2K. I'm sure you play 2K, right? You just like badges, right? You start off with all bronze badges. But if you run up a 30 game in the park, your badge is going to go up. Now you got Hall of Fame bag talker. Like your bag talking badge right now is on bronze. That's damn near non-existent. But if you say little things like this, like I'm about to give you some examples. What's your family life like? Or if there was one thing you could change in this world right now, but nobody would know you changed it, what would it be? Or even what's one thing you wish you could tell younger you? These are little things that will get you from silver bag talker to gold bag talker to hall of fame bag talker. But you also have to be different. Stop being a follower, bro. I be seeing y'all Instagrams. We went through this already. Y'all be having 4K training y'all bio. Y'all think y'all young boy. Y'all envy these other influencers and celebrities. Or you think because he got a Hellcat, you need a Hellcat. Like, yeah, it's cool. Who don't want nice things? But don't be almost envious or try to downplay where you are because of where the next person is. The only way you're going to get further is if you're competing with yourself. There is no competition other than yourself because girls realize when like you're a follower like you're you're not the leader you're the follower you follow behind the trends you follow set your own trends bro girls hate followers also just play the game she's playing if she's responding slow you respond slow if she's texting back fast you text back fast we do not double text you play the game she's playing if she's giving you the attention you want you give her the attention she wants and that's it just never refer to yourself as the nice guy don't be like yeah most people tell me I'm a, she does not. If you call yourself a nice guy, you're corny. If you use pickup lines, you're corny. And then you have to put thoughts into dates. So texting her like, hey, I've really been enjoying getting to know you. I can't wait until we go bowling, skating, drive in movie. Just these little thoughtful dates that get y'all to interact and communicate, but still have fun with each other. And lastly, it's just the way you deliver everything, the way you talk to her. Talk to her very softly. You almost want to talk to her in your lowest tone of voice. 
And while you're doing this, you're never losing eye contact. And every time she looks at you, just smile. And she's going to constantly ask what you're looking at. And be like, just like looking at you, what? Eye contact. Girls can't handle eye contact. These are just little things that will help you evolve. You will go to the next level. Trust me, I'm giving you a real game. So that's the end of this video. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit that right now. And if you made it to the end, comment MO, members only. And enjoy this for the next 24 hours. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.